Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and here's another uh, short video of my car boot sale finds. I've been out this morning to uh, my local car boot, Gethley Gear, and I've bought a couple of interesting pieces. So, uh, they were afternoon boot sales, but um, I had to be back today for the children, so it's just the one boot this morning for me. So I'm going to show you uh, some of the bits I've bought now. Um, so, hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off with the um, jewellery. Um, I've had quite a lot of it today. And then let's start up here. We have some um, 9 karat gold on solid silver. Again, um, 9 karat gold on silver locket and chain. Never used. 9 karat gold sil uh, on sterling silver set with diamonds and it's even stamped on the back diamonds I had those three there for three pound each um, I have a 14 karat rolled gold pen with a solid 14 karat gold nib it's an Irish pen all the making that across the top there and it's got its 14 karat gold Nib, the nib will be solid gold. So I was pleased with the pen. This here is all gold, all nine carat. And there's, um, with the stones, nearly eight grams. The stones are a couple of grams of that, but uh, I'm going to retail all that anyway. Then we come down into the, well, the silver. We have some silver coins. Um, here we have a 1940 half crown. Now 1940 would be 500 grade silver. It needs to be before 1921 to be full silver. And again a shilling 1928 and a sixpence. Um, some earrings, some pendants, bracelets. Got some really good weighty bracelets. Um, had another silver fob medal. There's a really nice selection. There's over 300 grams of silver that have come in this morning. Um, a lot of it off one stall. In a lovely piece here. Art Deco sterling silver with marquisites. Um, everything is all fully hallmarked. But a really nice job lot. Now what happened with me this morning? There was a lady that um, had bags and bags of jewellery on her table and she was selling it £2 for this bag, £2 for that bag. And in amongst it all was mixed. Um, so I bought all the bags. And now I've told you about um, the boxes I do for dragging people to my store where I put everything in it for 50p in a pound and so forth. Well, here's some of the brooches and badges and things that have come out of the bags. I bought the bags for all the silver. Um, this lot have come out of the bags, so it's cost me nothing. It's going to go in my boxes at a pound a piece, and it'll all sell in time. Um, really happy with that. We come up then to a hoard of large chains. Now every one of these chains, chains is stamped sterling silver. However, every single one of these chains is going to be fake. I can tell you that just off the feel and the look. Um, we have some beautiful pendants and chains here. Some really pretty necklaces. But again, it's all the fake Chinese. However, this lot was all in with the uh, the bags for the sterling silver that I bought. There's over 60 pieces of fake silver here. Um, everything from these large four and five ounce chains down to the fine chains with pendants. If I said a pound or two pound a piece is over a hundred pound now back on the day on pieces that as far as I'm concerned need to go in a bin. But if someone else can wear them decoratively I'll put them in my pound box and they can buy them just for wearing or for decorative. Next then I had two pieces of Hamel. 
MJ Hamill. You have the uh, little boy with the uh, lambs. They are fully stamped up MJ Hamill. And the gobel underneath. And then you had the little girl with the deer. Again, fully stamped. Now, MJ Hamill, the ones you're really looking for, have got a donut base, really prominent donut ring on the base. They're the earlier examples, and they do demand more money. However, they came in this morning and they were £2. Hamill may not be the best of sellers anymore. If there was a time, I would have got £35 a piece for these figures, um, but they're still going to be £20 each, so what a steal. Um, here we have a nice Web & Co of Birmingham cast iron kitchen scales. Now it's probably first half of the 20th century, so 1900 to 1950. Um, I haven't dated it yet, I haven't done no research. It's got the brass dishes. I quite liked the fact it's a named one. Um, it came in this morning for £2.50. Um, whether you use it or whether you just use it to display in the kitchen, it's a really pretty scales. Um, it's going to be £25, £35 without a problem at all. Um, I'll move along then to a piece of 1950s pottery. Here we have obviously Daisy the Cow butter dish. Really pretty, nice, almost honey treacle glaze. Uh, lovely moulding, nice to have the cow on top. Uh, it's produced by Sadler. There you go, produced by Sadler, it's a registered design, made in England, it's going to be 1950s-ish, 1960s. Um, obviously put your block of butter in and then of course Daisy sits on top, looks after your butter. I bought that this morning for a pound. I don't buy a lot of ceramics no more, because I find them hard to sell. But as soon as I saw her, I thought, even if I can't sell her, I'll buy some nice salted butter, some nice crackers and she'll sit in my kitchen. Happy days. But she'll have a go going out first. And then finally we have what I class as a really nice little lot. Um, here we have some Oriental Netsky. Tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand the camera up and put them these on tidy. Okay, I'm back again guys. So here we have some Netsky. Now these come in bone, in ivory, uh, these ones are little boxwood, all carved. They're Japanese. Um, a netsuke would have originated, basically, um, the Japanese used to have what's called inro, which would be little boxes to store things on their person, almost like a purse, if you like. And the netskis were little carved animals that they would use on the drawstring to keep the inros closed. We have a bat. Uh, there's the bat. Each of these is signed. There, there's the sign, signature there. Really pretty little bat. We have the hare or the rabbit. Again, signed on the bum there. Lovely quality, lovely colour to them. Look at the face on that. Really nicely carved. And then, of course, this one is spectacular is the dragon. If the camera ever focuses in, really, really nicely carved. And again, this one is signed on the base again there. I paid a tenner for the three of these. Now, Netsky, I normally sell out, if they're ivory, anything up from 50 to 150, depending on the rarity. I've had some beautiful cobra or snake ones and so forth um, that I've sold for good money over the years. Uh, boxwood ones like these would probably be about £30 each. Um, absolutely beautiful. There we have it guys. As I said, my morning was cut short because I had to come home for the children. Um, but I've had, I've had a really good day's wage out of it. I'm not going to complain. The Netsky are beautiful. Um, Hamel, easy enough to sell. It's just you've got to be priced right. 
love the kitchen scales they're going to fly out to be totally honest with you a lot of the silver and jewellery and the gold will just go in my uh, collection until I'm ready to let a few pieces go if I'm a little short of money one week this lot here all the uh, fake jewellery and all the costume jewellery the badges the buttons the little pen knife as you see it all it's going to pull me between 100 and 150 pound back in out of my pound boxes that I put to attract people in that doesn't even come close to what I've spent today. I've hardly spent anything. It really has all come in for next to nothing. Um, and if I can't find a little home for Daisy the cow, she'll be in my kitchen. I'll adopt her. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing this little hoard. Um, take a look at yesterday's video. I, uh, I managed to pull out of a car boot sale a coin worth uh, thousands of pounds for next to nothing. Um, so yeah, really interesting weekend. Hope you enjoyed watching the film. If you did, I would appreciate a, a like and a share. Um, you'll find us on Facebook, Antique Serena. You'll find us on eBay, Antique Serena Clearance. And you'll find us on our own website, antiqueserena.co.uk. Thanks for watching, guys, and bye for now.